Deer mice is in the southwest can carry hantavirus. The number of cases per year is very small, but the disease is deadly. Here in Red Mesa, we have never seen cases of hantavirus, but the deer mice is present in the higher elevations. This map shows areas of higher and lower elevation with the darker color indicating the zone of greater risk. As you can see, Red Mesa is not within the higher elevation zone of greater risk. HPS is found in rural areas, forests, fields, farms, barns, hogans, and buildings. These offer suitable habitat for the virus rodent hosts. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, also um, HPS, is a rare but severe, sometimes fatal respiratory disease in human caused by infection with hantavirus. How do people get HPS? People can get HPS when they are exposed to infected rodents. Exposures may include number one, breathing in the virus. This may happen when fresh rodent urine and droppings containing hantavirus are stirred up into the air. Airborne transmission. Number two, touching eyes, nose, or mouth after touching rodent droppings, urine, or nesting materials that contain the virus. Number three, a bite from an infected rodent. HPS is not spread from person to person. What are the symptoms of HPS? Early symptoms include fatigue, fever, and muscle aches, especially in the large muscle groups, thighs, hips, backs, and sometimes shoulder. About half of all HPS patients also experience headaches, dizziness, chills, and abdominal pains such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Late symptoms, lungs filled with fluid, shortness of breath, four to 10 days after the initial phase of illness. The late symptoms of HPS appear. These include coughing and shortness of breath. How is HPS treated? There is no specific treatment, cure, or vaccine for HPS. If infected, individuals that are recognized early and receive medical care in an intensive care unit may do better. In ICU, patients are intubated and given oxygen therapy to help them through the period of severe respiratory distress. If a patient is experiencing full respiratory distress, it is likely that the treatment will be effective. How can HPS be prevented? When people get HPS, it's usually because they have been exposed to infected rodents or their droppings. So the best way to prevent HPS is to eliminate or minimize contact with rodents in your home, workplace, campsite, shacks, and buildings. Air out hogans, buildings, and shacks before entering. Seal openings around the house to prevent rodents from entering. Use traps or rodent bait to reduce rodents. To clean up rodent droppings, dilute one cap full of Clorox to one gallon of water. Use spray bottle to wet down the dust around the droppings. Use gloves, masks when cleaning out homes, shacks, and buildings. Use hammer, nails, and sealant to seal up the entry holes. Use traps around the home to help reduce the population of rodents. If you have any questions, you can talk with your local PXNs, CHRs, or healthcare professionals at 928-656-3500.